tonight, we've got the number four overall pick in the recently concluded PBA Rookie Draft. Welcome to Sports Desk, Matt Ganuelas Rosser. Thank you, thank you for having me. All right, well, first of all, congratulations on getting drafted fourth. Uh, tell us about your experience at the Rookie Draft. Oh, I was just so surprised to, to land at four. It was uh, such a blessing to be there for NLEX to get me. Um, you know, when they were on the clock, I kind of had a feeling that NLEX might get me just because you know, kind of been there before, yeah. But um, when the when commissioner called my name, I was just so happy. You were with your wife at the draft as mm -hmm. well. And what was that experience like being with her at that moment? Oh, it was just great. Like, we've been together since high school. We're high school oh, wow. sweethearts, yeah. So it was just for us to share another moment together, it was, it was great. And uh, we have a bun in the oven, so she was there technically. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> Okay, well, of course, we, we know that you already, you're very familiar with the NLEX team already, right. but you're also part of the Philippine squad that was in the 2012 Jones Cup mm -hmm. that brought home the gold as well. Right. Tell us about that. Oh, that was, that was awesome. I had just came out and uh, started practicing with the team, and they decided to bring me. And, uh, you know, luckily we won the, we got the gold for the first time in, ever I believe <laughs> so <laughs> it was cool my first uh, experience overseas playing basketball and we got this championship you're no stranger to championships though because when you were in college you played for a division two school this was the California yeah. State Polytechnic University right you also won the championship in the NCAA yeah we did <laughs> so I, yeah our my uh, freshman year we made it to the championship and mm -hmm. we lost at the buzzer last second shot oh, wow. yeah so, and then we made it all the way back uh, I was a starter my sophomore year, so it's cool. <laughs> Throw that in there. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, um, how did you end up playing in, Calif uh, in, San in California? Because you were born here in the Philippines, yes? Yeah, yeah. Um, actually, I was born in the Philippines when Mount Pinatubo erupted. Uh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> my, my dad, who was a serviceman, we got stationed in San Diego. And then uh, that's where I lived. And I actually moved to Temecula, which is like, a suburb like about an hour up north and uh you know i was going through the ranks playing there uh and then uh, luckily the coaches at cal poly saw me playing and uh, they liked what they saw and i you know accepted the scholarship there not a lot of players have that blessing right. to be offered a scholarship mm -hmm. when and some of them take it for granted some of them use it to its full potential right. um, how would you describe your journey through college basketball uh, it was uh, it was up well it started really high because <laughs> you know we won we lost the championship my first year won it my second year and then the last two years of my college career we we didn't even make the playoffs so it was it started great but you know I still felt like I had a lot to to play for um, kind of just boosted me towards trying to come play out here so it was it was good it was good yeah eventually what made you decide to come back here then. Uh, I was just hungry to keep playing, and I tried to do the NBA D League in the States, and it's just it's just really tough. It's it's hard to go through that. There's so many good players there, so I had an opportunity to come out here. I got introduced to my agent Charlie D, who kind of put pieces together for me, and uh, you know now I'm here. Coach Charlie does that. He's pretty good at. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> but okay, so when you came out here. When you were out in the States though, would you still fly back and forth? Would you still visit or were you just there the whole time? Uh, I, was, I was there. I came back actually when I was 10, okay. uh, visited family for the first time. Um, my mom, she's from San Fernando, La Union. Okay. So I got to visit my family there. We stayed for a month and it was an experience <laughs> to say the least. <laughs> but um, it was, you know, I, I didn't get a chance to get back there, get back here until 2012. Was it a big change uprooting yourself from San Diego and then flying back here and moving your wife and yeah. your kid here as well. Um, it was, but you know, I felt like in San Diego there's a big Filipino community there. So I didn't realize how the, much the same they are as they <laughs> are here. So it was, it, it was kind of a transition, but it was just kind of like, oh, okay, I'm familiar with this. Like, <laughs> it's not too much different than what I'm used to. In terms of the game though, were you in any way surprised by a particular style of play here as compared to the style oh. of play in the States? <laughs> of course. <laughs> the physicality, of course. <laughs> I yeah. have yet to hear someone 
<laughs> fly in from another country and not mention the physicality. Okay, yeah. tell us. Okay, talk to us about your your experiences with the physicality of play here. Well, when, <laughs> it was actually funny. My first practice was with Enlex when I first got here, and uh, we're going through drills and. I hit somebody pretty good because everybody told me, you know, it's physical in the Philippines, you got to be ready. So I kind of hit somebody really hard. They turn around and boom, elbow <laughs> right in the throat. And I'm like, okay, that was my welcoming. <laughs> I'll, I'll take that. <laughs> Baptism of fire. Yes. There you go. Okay, and now, of course, the PBA. Mm -hmm. that's, that's another level. Right. <laughs> so when you go up against the likes of, let's say, Bo Belga or Mark Pingris, or, you know, are you ready for that kind of physicality? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I've, I've been here for over two years now, so I kind of know what to expect. So, I mean, it, it'll hurt, <laughs> but if we get the win, it's always worth it. Win or lose it, it'll be worth it. Okay. And if there's any aspect of your game that you want to improve on before you set foot in an actual PBA game, what would that be? Um, honestly, I just want to improve all around. So ball handling, decision making, shooting, defense, everything. So I, I try to just be as good as I can, try to get better every day in every aspect. You're, you're pretty much known as an all around guy though. So what <laughs> yeah. do you think is your biggest, um, I guess your best aspect in basketball? Um, I just think maybe decision making, offensively and defensively. I feel like, for the most part, I'm usually at the right place at the right time, or make the right decision at the right time. That's rare for a rookie, though. <laughs> well, we'll see. <laughs> see you in a couple of weeks. <laughs> All right. <laughs> As for your teammates, um, you have, I believe, Asi Tolava is now with you guys. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Asi is one of the veterans, I guess, of, of the PBA. He made a comeback. Um, how would, uh, have you had the chance to sit down with him or practice with him? Yeah, yeah, we, we had full um, practice this week. Um, man, Aussie is just a really energetic guy. <laughs> you wouldn't guess he's 40 plus. <laughs> yeah, I could not, I could not <laughs> guess that. But um, one thing I got right off the bat from him, though, he works hard. He is a workhorse. You know, he's the first one at, at the gym lifting weights. He like doing extra work with the bigs. So that's already rubbing off with me. It's like, if I'm not working as hard as this guy, <laughs> he's almost 50. You know? He's like 41, bitch, right? <laughs> Sorry, Asi. But other than, with your, with your other teammates though, I mean, how, how do you think your chemistry will be coming into a slightly bigger league with the addition of a couple of teams? Yeah, well, um, what I've noticed so far, everybody is pretty close and everybody has one goal and that's to get better every day. So with that, I mean, the sky's the limit. Okay, what is probably the team that you're most excited to face? Um, I don't know, I'm, I'm excited to face everybody, but um, I'd say probably Hanebra just because I'm good <laughs> friends with Chris Ellis and Greg. <laughs> so that, that'll be a fun game. I mean. Plus the crowd. <laughs> it's, and that's actually where you'll probably figure out if you can handle a crowd as well. <laughs> yeah. Because normally during Hinebra games, like three fourths of the stadium is cheering for Hinebra. Yeah. So if you can keep your composure and if you can keep your focus, then you're good. <laughs> but other than that, um, has, how has practice been with your team, um, your relationship with the coaches? Yeah, it's, it's been good. Uh, for the most part, most of the coaches I've had before, but uh, you know, just they've been willing to teach me more and help me more. So it's, it's been going good, especially a lot of older guys. Uh, they're all been there, you know, give me pointers here and there. And I'm kind of used to Coach Boyd's system anyway. So it's, it's kind of nice to go into somewhere where it's like, okay, I, it's, I remember it's all this. Familiar. Yeah.